In today's Sound Iron session, we're going to be deconstructing a track written in the style of Hans Zimmer's Dune soundtrack, so let's get into it. Hello again everyone and welcome back to another Sound Iron session. My name is Craig Peters and today we're going to be deconstructing a track that I wrote that was heavily inspired by the Dune soundtrack written by Hans Zimmer. In this video I'll be showing you some of the different instruments that I used as well as some of the different effects, EQs, and reverbs to get the final atmospheric sound. So let's have a listen and then we'll start breaking it down. So a few goals that I had before starting the compositional process on this track was I wanted it to have a huge atmospheric sound. When you listen to the soundtrack, it really has this big atmospheric tone to it. It's very dark and mysterious. And some of the things that I saw from Hans Zimmer's interview where he was talking about how he created this soundtrack was they used a lot of the human voice. So I wanted to utilize some different voices as well as some different unique instruments like our Cylind drum library, which was created with some different PVC pipes and plastic tubes. So I thought that would be fun to incorporate in this track as well as some other different choirs as well. So let's go ahead and start checking out how I wrote this track. So the very first instrument that I pulled up for this track was from Quadril. This library is packed full of atmospheric sound design pads and textures and basses and arps. And I really thought it would be a great use to get that huge atmospheric sound. And the fact that you can blend between different layers, because this library has four different layers. So I used some of these to go back and forth just between a couple layers, just to really give it that movement, atmospheric, textural vibe. So let's listen to just the first atmospheric pad that I used from Quadro. This is a high drone that I wanted to use to start off the track. And you can see it's going back and forth between layers one and two using the X motion. So you can see it going back and forth from this brass sound to the shimmery sound. So just that alone sounds really cool. And some of the things I did was I routed this to Valhalla Shimmer. And Shimmer is really awesome. It's a really cool plugin from Valhalla DSP. And what I did is I set it to the octave up and down because with this, it really has that movement of taking it up an octave and down an octave. So if I was to turn this off, this is how it sounds. So you hear just going back and forth from that shimmer and that brass pad. So it sounds really cool just by itself, but when you add this on top of it, you hear those extra octaves coming in and out, which really adds to that atmospheric sound. It 
So as it's going from low to high, it's bringing in that high, almost like an extra synth on top of it. And then, as I mentioned earlier, we have some cylindrum in this track. And when you listen to the soundtrack, there's some really up close, right in your face drums that pop in. They sound more dry than what I did. I experimented with doing it more dry, but I actually really liked the way it sounded with delays and the vintage verb. If I turn these off, this is how it sounds. So it sounds a little bit more up right in your face, a little bit of reverb in there because this was recorded in a hall. But when I turn these on, I have a delay and the vintage verb. I felt it kind of added more to the atmosphere. And then you can start to hear these solo deduc phrases because we just released our solo deduc library and it comes with these really awesome phrases and I thought it would be really cool to use this in a Dune style track because they use a lot of deduc in there as well. And another thing I used on the Cylindrum track is this Autopan plugin from Cubase. And this is just really cool because it just does some auto panning for you. It's really easy. There's some different settings. I literally just loaded up the default just because I wanted it to add movement to the track. So if we solo this, I'm going to turn off the effects that I have. And let's listen to just Cylindrum with auto pan. So you can hear it just, it's just kind of throwing it everywhere. And then when you add these effects to it, it really makes it feel like you're in that really spacey environment by just kind of throwing it around. And let's have a listen to that. So it's a really cool plugin. If you have Cubase, I definitely suggest playing around with it. So one of the things I did with these phrases is I set it to variable and then I stretch them all the way down to really elongate and make these phrases much more dramatic because when you listen to soundtracks like this or soundtracks like Gladiator, which have these really emotive deduke solo phrases, I thought it would be cool to try to get as close to that as possible, especially because with this, it's very long and very dramatic and just kind of dark and mysterious. So I thought utilizing phrases in a little bit more of a dragged out way would be a little bit more fitting. So. Let's listen to just these phrases by themselves. Yeah, these have a really awesome sound. And with the quadral atmospheric pads that you hear going on in the beginning, they're all based off of C. So it's just kind of this long atmospheric pad that's just playing in one note. And then I also have another quadril pad that comes in a little bit later, which adds more of a lower sounding drone. So let's listen to both of these by themselves. So I wanted the track to gradually build and have a little bit more weight as it went on by taking some of these lower drones and bringing them down to really make the track sort of drag you in more and more. And going back to the use of vocals, I thought it would be really cool to utilize our Francesca bombastic phrases from Voices of Gaia. The vocalist in the Dune soundtrack has some really awesome, powerful vocals and Francesca has a very unique and exotic style. So I thought these would be perfect for that. And I'm using the 80 BPM bombastic phrases in the G sharp minor. So let's have a listen to these.
And like what I did with the solo to dick phrases by setting it to variable and bringing the stretch all the way down, I did the same thing to these bombastic phrases to really give it that dragged out and dramatic feel. And the reverb that I'm using on these vocals is from Black Hole. It's the Eventide Black Hole. Really awesome plugin. Great for giving anything a really atmospheric sound. And with these, I have a bunch of effects tracks that I just have sitting there. They're all set up to how I would normally tweak stuff, or sometimes I'll tweak them depending on what I'm doing in the track. So I got Black Hole, some Vintage Verb, the Shimmer that we talked about. I have Valhalla Room, so if there's anything maybe percussion-wise that I want to give a more of a room reverb sound, I have that. Some Stereo Delay, as well as Cinematic Rooms from Liquid Sonics. And then in the Dune soundtrack, there's also some of these like real low kind of heartbeat style kick drum sounds that I noticed and I thought it would be cool to incorporate in this track and I'm using the Glitch Hero Low Kits so let's have a listen to just this and then some of the things I did was I automated the EQ to go back and forth so sometimes it sounds a little bit more muffled sometimes it sounds a little bit brighter and it's just kind of going back and forth so you can see it's just moving along as the track goes along. And all I did was record this in. I just set it to record right, and then I just dragged it around as the track was playing back. And then as the track moves along, you can see it start to open up a little bit more towards the end. Let's find that. So you get, get a little bit darker, and then you'll see it start to come back. Go back, and then swoop back up. So I did this as a way of making the kick drum feel like it has a little bit more life and a little bit more movement, almost like it's breathing throughout the track. And then going back to the use of vocals, in the soundtrack I noticed there was some different uses of choirs. Some of them sounded a little bit dissonant, and I wanted to use some of these different vocal clusters. I used some from Olympus Elements as well as Requiem Light Choir, and I wanted to combine these different ones to really just give it this big, dissonant, dark choir kind of sound. Because it's like, you can hear these voices going on, but it's not necessarily like a nice sounding choir, like it's played in a more melodic way. I wanted it to really have more texture and add to the darkness, especially as the track was building up and coming to a close. So let's have a listen to these choir effects from Olympus. And then I'm also using Valhalla Shimmer on here as well. And then we have these Requiem Light Choir effects that are going to be coming up in a couple bars. And these choir effects sound so cool, especially with the shimmer effect from Valhalla because it adds that extra octave up so it just makes it sound like it's just building and building and it really helps with making that sort of final crescendo before the track ends. And then for the choral effects that I use from Requiem Light Choir, I'm using the Men's Dissonant Cluster Longs and these just have a really cool sound to them. Let's listen to just these by themselves. <laughs> That Valhalla Shimmer in the end kind of gives it that THX sound, which is kind of cool. And that's it as far as this track goes. I really didn't want to use a lot of instruments. I wanted to see how big of an atmospheric sound I can get with using limited tracks. So it's pretty much just the solo to dip phrases, the cylindrum, random percussion is that kind of like anti-percussion sound. And then I have these bombastic phrases from Francesca and the Voices of Gaia Library, as well as a couple drones from Quadril, some kick percussion from Glitch Hero, and then some choir effects from Requiem Light Choir and Olympus Choir Elements. 
All right, so that about wraps up the Sound Iron Session, composing a track in the style of Dune. If you like these types of videos, definitely give them a like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and let us know in the comments if there's any types of styles you'd like to see featured on our Sound Iron Sessions series. So thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya.